Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we're going to work on a Hot Wheels short order. This is a pretty cool looking diecast car. It's uh, modeled after a truck, but it's got a definite short bed to it. And we're going to work on this one today and bring it back, hopefully, to a little bit better state than it's in right now. There's a lot of paint missing on this car, and there's a lot of uh, wear and tear on it that just, it's a shame to, to let it sit there and be like this. We're definitely going to do a wheel swap it and we're going to do some polishing on this and instead of the opaque paint that we have on there now we're going to put some Spectre Flame paint on there. So go ahead stick around grab your favorite adult beverage and let's get started with the resto mod of the Hot Wheels short order. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already drilled the car apart. Now there's only one post in this vehicle and that's in the very front. There's a little clip that holds on the back that's attached to where the bumper is. This little slide out plastic bed I guess you would call it. Of course the interior. Now what's really strange about this is the motor is pressed in and there's a post there. So we're going to have to drill that out to get it out, as you can see there. That's uh, pretty crazy looking. I've never taken one of these apart, so this is going to be interesting. Here's the base. Now the back wheels are the cap style wheels, and the front wheels are the hollow post with the, uh, with the uh, exposed axles. I've got a replacement set of those that we're going to change out. This plastic thing is just weird, okay? I mean, bright orange plastic. Interior is in pretty good shape. The windshield and glass is in good shape. We're just going to have to clean it up and polish it. we got our work cut out for us here for sure. Here we're going to dip the body in the embalming fluid and get that old paint stripped off. We'll let the excess citrus strip drip off there and then we'll set it on this plastic lid and let it set for a while and let the paint stripper do its magic. The citrus strip works pretty good. Usually within 10 to 15 minutes the paint's gone off of it, but I like to let it sit a little bit longer just to make sure that it's all gone. We'll let that set for a while and get on to some other things. Okay, here we've got the body out of the stripper. We've scrubbed it down and we're going to hit it with the Flitz. Flitz is a great product. If you haven't used it before, I would definitely try. Now, there's a whole bunch of other products out there, some that I've used, some that I haven't. Some of them the, um, are mentioned to me from subscribers and like that. And I'll get a chance and I'll purchase some of those and I'll try them out too. I'm really happy with Flitz. I'm glad with the way it sticks to whatever you're trying to polish so it doesn't get flung everywhere. But um, I'm, I'm always willing to try something different to see if it works better and especially if it's going to be better on the wallet. We sped the polishing part up quite a bit because that's kind of boring and you've seen it before. But the body on this is starting to turn out really nice. Now I did try to file off some of the casting lines. Some of them I got off, some of them they look better than they did. Here's the base. I saved the rear axle and the caps, replaced the tires. I took the front tires off of a donor car and put those on and super glued those in place. 
I polished up the base and now we're going to work on the body. For the new color of this car I decided to use magenta. I spray in and try and get all the hard to reach areas that I can first up inside the car, the fender wells, etc. And I put on that light tack coat that I tell you about so often. It's better to build up the coats and the layers than spray it in one massive coat. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell in order to be alerted to any future videos that come out. Had a little loosening problem there. Fortunately, it didn't affect the paint. This is starting to look nice. We're probably going to have to do this in two coats, but I won't bore you with that. We'll do the one, and then we'll show you the final results later. This is looking really, really nice. Try and keep your spray patterns to where you're getting an entire area of the car instead of just spraying a little here and a little there. Or as I call them, dibble dabbles. Nice long strokes along the length of the body and the length of the hood and the roof and everything. Get everything you can to make sure it's covered properly. That looks nice. I'm really happy with that. That Spectre Flame Magenta is fantastic. Now here's all the parts. Now this is a short video, folks. Here's your body all painted up, ready to go. Here's your base, all polished up. Brand new wheels all the way around. They look fantastic. Here's the glass. We polished that up. That looks great. Here's the engine. We polished that up and that looks great. Here's the interior, all cleaned up and ready to go. And here's that plastic bed extender and this is what we started with a Hot Wheels short order like I said this is a pretty cool casting and you can definitely find replacement engines in other cars I think like a 57 Chevy or some other things but uh, they're pretty easy to find we took everything apart we stripped it down we worked on the base and we switched out all the wheels. We stripped all the paint down, like I said. We polished it up. We buffed it out. We painted it up with that beautiful magenta paint from, from the Redline shop. And everything on the car looks fantastic. And this is how it turned out. What a really nice paint job. I'm very happy with that. Those brand new wheels set the car off, that polished engine, the polished glass, and the bed extender looks good with its new paint job. What a really beautiful paint job this turned out to be. This is fantastic. I happen to have a couple of these cars and I might experiment later on with some different kinds of paint. But overall, I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. Now you folks can do this too. Again, if you're just starting out in this hobby, I would start off with a main line. Go to Walmart or Target or Dollar General or whatever and pick you up a couple of the cars right off the rack. Something that you think you're going to be happy working with. Follow some of the how-to videos that we have here to show you how to take a car apart, how to prep it for paint, etc., etc. But you folks can do this too. I'd like to introduce you to my Patreon team members. Grim Reaper level, William K7 Robinson, Dale Johnson, and Matt Miller. Mortician level, Air Warrior Coffee, Jake Rademacher, Jason Warren, Ray Berger, Ricky Montavo, Sam Pascal. Funeral Director level, Diecast Sheriff on YouTube, Double Beast Customs on YouTube, Dave Christensen, Todd Benny, Ryan Goldstein, and new member Evan Rule. Gravedigger, Aaron Murphy, Andrew Hitchens, Bob the Nice, Chris Decker, Grizz Flowers, John Holman, John Sellers on YouTube, Johnny and William Hicks, Keith Kripe, Leroy, Les Jenkins, Michael Oxley, Richie Ramos, Stacy Wright, and Trevor DeViz, Paul Bearer, 
Daryl Bagtel, Gary Tasker, and Milesium 487. First drivers, Adam Bowen, Diecast Pirate, Jason Saylor, Jim Silva on YouTube, Joe Pierce, Pete Langford, Pintoni, Richard Reese, Richard Subtrolo, Somo Diecast on YouTube, Scott Turner, Steve Terrence, Tony Hughes, and my good friend Wade Hendricks. Check in the links on how to become a team member of Diecast Graveyard. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals, tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful Redline tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com, where Redlines come to life. Thank you for joining me here today in Diecast Graveyard. Had a great time working the car with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put it in the comments section because I read it all. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Have a great day and cheers.